what's going on guys we are playing stalker clear sky it has been t actually about two years like actually just right around two years since the last time I played stalker clear sky um, I don't remember I remember when I first played it I had to install a patch in order for the game to even fucking work so that'll be interesting to see and I don't know if I'll be doing a full playthrough of this game or not this game and I just oh well 2019 Steam said I- wait. What- What in the coconut fuck is this shit? <clears throat> Steam said I hadn't fucking played since 2018 and here's a save file from 2019. I don't know what to believe anymore. We'll just get rid of these. <clears throat> of course, my beautiful save titles. go. Alright. Anyway, I guess uh, I'm not even gonna fucking talk anymore. For at least for a few minutes. Oh, wait, what do you want? What fucking... Do we want to do what we did with the SOC playthrough and start out on novice? And then midway through, change it to master just to see how it... how it fucking changes? I don't know if you can. Hold on one second. Game. Yeah, you can change mid-game. Alright, cool. The fuck did I just click? Did my game just catch on fire? That's not good. Uh oh. Ah, we're back. So yeah, we will fucking throw it on novice, and we'll see. We'll see how it fucking transfers. fact, we have nothing to worry about. According to our research, the next emission will not occur for at least two months, four days, and seven hours. Its intensity will be three on the Bergman scale, which is Without going into detail, I must say I have never seen anything like this before. The encephalogram suggests serious damage to the nervous system, but the other indicators couldn't be better. It's... it's astounding. Perhaps it has something to do with the emission. Most certainly, although so far I've been utterly unable to formulate a rational explanation for this Welcome back to the world of the living, Stalker. How are you feeling? Do you remember what happened to you? <laughs> In the joking mood, eh? That bodes well for your recovery. I'm Lebedev, the group leader, and I'm responsible for everyone here. That includes you, for as long as you're here. We call ourselves Clear Sky, and you are in our base right now. We picked you up in the swamps after the emission. Lucky? Hmm. I doubt it. The facts are these. You survived the emission. That's the first thing I still can't explain. The second thing is that our patrol found you in the swamps, which are essentially endless quicksand. And thirdly, 
You nearly got torn into shreds by a pack of pseudodarks. But our boys got you out just in time. Such a chain of events tells me it's more than just luck. Anyway, I need to finish what I'm doing. So let's continue this conversation later. Alright! And again, I don't know if I'll actually be playing this game start to finish. I don't know. Depends. <laughs> Depends on how I feel. I Usually I've only beat this game twice. And all the other times I've tried, I get to about uh, fucking freedom base. I finish her little quest line, and then I just stop. I don't know why. I just stop. This game is fun. It's just also a lot harder than the first one, and harder, way harder than the third one. The third one, Call of Duty, yeah, it's a really fucking easy. Um, talk to the bar, man. Fuck. Also, this game looks fucking beautiful. Look who we got visiting ours. Hello, man. You became quite a legend while you were out of it. Even you wouldn't believe some of the rumors I've heard. <laughs> Anyways, here's a drink on the house for a lucky son of God. It should help you relax and tell me about your adventures. Because I'm just dying of curiosity. Got some fresh air? You look better, that's for sure. Let me fill you in on this situation. You're in the Clear Sky Base. Don't try to remember who we are. You've never heard of us, and there's a very good reason for that. Our mission is to research the Zone. We believe that the Zone must be studied and understood so that humanity knows what it is facing here. Understanding is the key to coexisting with the Zone. Because if you think about it, the Zone is the most wondrous phenomenon humanity has been confronted with in its entire history. As I said, we are researchers. We are trying to figure out the nature of the Zone, determine the reasons which caused it to appear, and formulate the rules that govern its existence. We are not consumed by a quest for money. We don't seek fields of artifacts, and we're not interested in turf wars with other factions. That is why we're hiding here in the swamps and concentrating on our research. Our forte is not combat, but knowledge. Knowledge of the zone, accumulated over years of research. We know more about it than stalkers and the government combined. And our research was finally shaping up into a sound, coherent picture until the massive emission a few days ago. No, that emission was incredibly powerful. It was on a level of its own. It was like a hurricane that swept the whole zone, changing it. Everything is different. The well-known and relatively safe areas have become highly radioactive and full of anomalies. But now, you can access parts of the zone that have been unreachable for years. Even the most hardened stalkers don't know what awaits them on their favorite path. The other thing that changed is people. And that became evident right away. The emission destroyed the fragile balance between factions, and they're now warring for territory. In other words, many strange things have happened, and I don't yet fully understand the scale of these changes. It's only been a few days since the emission. If you ask me, the strangest thing of all is that you managed to survive it. All right, so now we just Traven, gotta go... Uh... a fighter is on his way to you. Get some guns. You'll need for the mission. I gotta find my way out of this shit. Roger tank. That. Here we go. Uh, let's go. Get the AK to Macron okay, with to make it last. Here, take this basic equipment kit. Oh, it's shotgun. Designed specifically for patrol missions. What? I've been ordered to issue you some equipment. Huh. There's no time for questions. The boys need you now. Oh, I fucking forgot about even getting the shotgun. Wow. Well, huh. This baffles me. Huh. What? Yeah, let's go. Mark, there are anomalies ahead. Be careful. Remember. Don't move until you've thrown a bolt in front of you. Alright. 
So, there is an artifact around here somewhere. It's a jellyfish. And you can kind of see the anomalies yourself. They're just these little bubbler, bubbling looking motherfuckers. I'm pretty oh, sure the artifact the is back there. You can sometimes find artifacts and anomalies. You can't see them, but detectors spot them easily enough. If you get close enough, your detector will indicate the location of the artifact, and then you just pick it up easy as pie. Keep in mind that your current detector isn't exactly top of the line. It only shows the distance to the artifact. And that's that. Bandages, from what I can remember, don't always heal you. Or er, stop your bleeding. Sometimes you gotta take more than one. And we gotta get to that tower. And not fucking die. I lived. <gasps> what a surprise. I do still have all that shit. Awesome. I'm going straight to the trader. <sighs> Hello there. Oh, welcome, guest from foreign lands. What come you with? A bursting purse? Prized exotic wonders? Oh. Anyway. Listen, I told you too much as it is. Time is money. So if you want to trade, go ahead. If not, I'll see you around. Good luck to you. Of course, this man never rips you off. As you can see, this shotgun should be worth 200. And this one also 200. And these mackerels, around 300. Even though they're in rough shape and all that shit, I'm only making around 100. I'm making 107 rubles. Jesus. Well, that's actually a pretty good deal. That's a little bit more than half. That's like 60% for that fucking artifact. Alright. Let me get that. Some buckshot. Can I pawn the AK? I can. Yes. Perfect. I've got more than enough ammo for my pistol. Buy the medkit. Bandages, which are fucking expensive. And we are good to go. Is it it? Oh my, you should go see Lebedev. One drink won't do it. Nice. Drop in next time. <laughs> Now we gotta go to Vedavir, this motherfucker in the base. And we gotta talk to him. Oh, you survived yeah. the emission again. I'm not even that surprised. Our boys picked you up not far from the tower when things calmed down a bit. You know, Bien Polev was right. You defy scientific explanation. He believes that you acquired some, let's say, unusual abilities, which help you survive anomalous activity that would literally tear anyone else down to atoms. Also, it looks like something is increasing your body's performance in several areas, to the point that our monitoring equipment goes off the scale. Wait, wait. Don't get too excited. 
there's always a fly in the ointment. Every emission harms your nervous system, and if this continues, you will die. Alright, so I think what we're gonna do is we are gonna go to the swamps. And we're gonna liberate one of the bandit bases, and I think I will call it there. After that. Uh nimble, I I don't care. <laughs> I've spent enough time talking, this is already mostly just talking, and that's just, just fucking boring to watch. Kind of. You have my full attention. Yes, let's go. We're there, so you can take your blindfold off. Don't you try to follow me, it won't work anyway. If you want to come back to the base, find one of the guys at the fishing camp. That's two flush. We'll try and get them both. Merc, it looks like you're at the Great Swamps now. Be extremely careful and don't try to be a hero. Check out your PDA. You should find the location of our spot there. I suggest you get yourself over to the fishing cabin. That's where they are. Alright. I got two of them. Maybe even another one? Buddy, you're fucking retarded for charging me like this. Do you think that's a good idea? Hell yeah. I'll check these bodies real quick. I don't remember what flesh. They have eyes, if I remember. But I don't remember ever getting them in a clear sky. But I'm sure you can. I don't remember this game too well. Okay. What do we have over there? Probably a guide. So we won't go that way. It is that simple. That sounds like bandits. And I like bandits. Yeah, it's bandits. Or loners fighting, uh. Boars. Yeah, clear sky. Stay down and wait! That's a bandit at the tower. Looks so quiet. Sit tight where you are. No. All right. This is suicidal. But I don't give a fuck. That's a Hail Mary shot for a shotgun. I know I can't hit that, but Quick, man. We're getting slaughtered here! Ah, uh, fuck. I can't just... I need to loot game. I can't just run at the first scream of help. Damn you! Where on earth are you? I'm coming, goddamn. I gotta run through all the fucking reeds and shit. Why? Why did you shoot me in the back, asshole? God, motherfucking damn it. I mean, I know that's your line of fire, but Jesus. Some trigger discipline would be appreciated. Oh, no. God, this is fun, though. Just shooting the ever living shit out of bandits. fun because it's easy. Right over there is the church. Thanks for helping out. Come by our 
our base when you get them. Thanks for coming to our help. Let's show them who's boss. Uh, let me loot first, please. Stay down and wait. Man, that was some fine defensive action. Why do I feel like my frames are just absolute ass all of a sudden? Just this feeling that I'm getting significantly less frames than what I should be. Is this game not like the RX 5500? That would suck. Alright, yes, yeah, so that's a fucking bandit camp. Straight overhead through here. Which one is this? This is, uh. I know the fucking place, I just forgot what it's called. I'm literally getting stopped by those reeds, which is really shitty. Jesus Christ. We can't hold that much longer. Can't you guys do your fucking shit on your own? God damn. We barely held them off. I'm trying to kill these guys. Explosive barrels. Thanks for helping out. Come by our base when you get a minute. We'll return the favor. Motherfucker, you guys weren't even here. What the fuck? I did that all on my own. That was all me. Assholes. Oh. Well done, men. We've reinforced our position in the swamps enough to give the renegade a real good kicking. Our next objective is their main base. I've got meds and ammo. For now, MP5, med kit. play a little bit more of this. As I said, I don't know if I'll play to the end, but I'll definitely play, make another video about this game. And, uh, yeah.